Faye Dunaway is an actress, producer, and American screenwriter, born January 14, 1941, in Bascom, Florida. She began her career in the mid-1960s, with the immense success of the film Bonnie and Clyde in 1967 making her a star. Praised for her great beauty, she became one of the greatest actresses in American cinema, playing the cold and sensual women, strong and neurotic, watched by decay in films such as The Thomas Crown Affair, Chinatown, The Three Days. Du Condor as well as Network. During her career, she was awarded an Oscar, a BAFTA, an Emmy, and four Golden Globes. A major emblem of New Hollywood, she works under the direction of renowned directors and replies to some of the greatest actors of her generation. Among his other great successes, we must mention Little Big Man, The Inferno Tower, Les U de Laura Mars, Maimon Tress Cheer, Barfly, and Arizona Dream. Faye Dunaway also marks its time and fashion by the embodiment of a particular style, chic and sophisticated. These are my top 10 Faye Dunaway movies. At number 10. Little Big Man, 1970. When a curious oral historian, William Hickey, turns up to hear the life story of 121-year-old Jack Crabb, Dustin Hoffman, he can scarcely believe his ears. Crabb tells of having been rescued and raised by the Cheyenne, of working as a snake oil salesman, as a gunslinger, and as a mule skinner under Jen. Custer, Richard Mulligan. As if those weren't astonishing enough, he also claims to be the only white survivor of the infamous Battle of the Little Bighorn. At number 9. Eyes of Laura Mars, 1978. Laura Mars, Faye Dunaway, is a renowned New York City fashion photographer who features sensual and violent images in her controversial work. Suddenly, Laura gains the ability to see visions from a serial killer's perspective, and it happens to be her friends and associates that he is stalking. Aided by police investigator John Neville, Tommy Lee Jones, Laura tries to prevent the murderer from finding more victims, but she has no idea who the psychopath could be. At number 8. Barfly, 1987. Down and out writer Henry Chinaski, Mickey Rourke, spends his nights drinking and picking brawls at a dingy Los Angeles watering hole. One night Henry spies a kindred spirit in pretty Barfly Wanda, Faye Dunaway, and, despite warning signs that she may be unfaithful, shacks up with the woman. When Henry's fears are confirmed by Wanda's infidelity with bartender Eddie, Frank Stallone, he begins an affair of his own with wealthy publisher Tully Sorensen, Alice Kreitch. At number 7. The Towering Inferno, 1974. Classic 1970s disaster movie about a fire that breaks out in a state-of-the-art San Francisco high-rise building during the opening ceremony attended by a host of A-list guests. An overworked fire chief and the building's architect must cooperate in the struggle to save lives and subdue panic while a corrupt, cost-cutting contractor tries to evade responsibility for the disaster. At number 6. Three Days of the Condor, 1975. On a seemingly ordinary day, Joe Turner, Robert Redford, a quiet CIA codebreaker, walks into his workplace and finds that all of his co-workers have been murdered. Horrified, Joe flees the scene and tries to tell his supervisors about the tragedy. Unfortunately, he soon learns that CIA higher-ups were involved in the murders. With no one to trust and a merciless hitman, Max von Sydow, close on his tail, Joe must somehow survive long enough to figure out why his own agency wants him dead. At number 5. Network, 1976. In this lauded satire, veteran news anchorman Howard Beale, Peter Finch, discovers that he's being put out to pasture, and he's none too happy about it. After threatening to shoot himself on live television, instead, he launches into an angry televised rant, which turns out to be a huge ratings boost for the UBS network. This stunt allows ambitious producer Diana Christensen, Faye Dunaway, to develop even more outrageous programming, a concept that she takes to unsettling extremes. At number 4. The Thomas Crown Affair, 1968. Bored millionaire Thomas Crown, Steve McQueen, concocts and executes a brilliant scheme to rob a bank without having to do any of the work himself. When Vicki Anderson, Faye Dunaway, an investigator for the bank's insurance company, takes an interest in Crown, the two begin a complicated cat and mouse game with a romantic undertone. In an attempt to decipher Anderson's agenda, Crown devises another robbery like his first, wondering if he can get away with the same crime twice. At number 3. Chinatown, 1974. 
When Los Angeles private eye Jake Gitz, Jack Nicholson, is hired by Evelyn Mulray to investigate her husband's activities, he believes it's a routine infidelity case. Jake's investigation soon becomes anything but routine when he meets the real Mrs. Mulray, Faye Dunaway, and realizes he was hired by an imposter. Mr. Mulray's sudden death sets Gitz on a tangled trail of corruption, deceit, and sinister family secrets as Evelyn's father, John Huston, becomes a suspect in the case. At number 2. Mommy Dearest, 1981. In this biographical film, glamorous yet lonely star Joan Crawford, Faye Dunaway, takes in two orphans, and at first, their unconventional family seems happy. But after Joan's attempts at romantic fulfillment go sour and she is fired from her contract with MGM Studios, her callous and abusive behavior towards her daughter Christina, Diana Scarwood, becomes even more pronounced. Christina leaves home and takes her first acting role, only to find her mother's presence still overshadowing her. At number 1. Bonnie and Clyde, 1967. Small-time crook Clyde Barrow, Warren Beatty, tries to steal a car and winds up with its owner's daughter, dissatisfied small-town girl Bonnie Parker, Faye Dunaway. Their crimes quickly spiral from petty theft to bank robbery, but tensions between the couple and the other members of their gang, hapless driver C.W., Michael J. Pollard, Clyde's suave older brother Buck, Gene Hackman, and Buck's flabberta gibbet wife, Blanche, Estelle Parsons, could destroy them all. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you, enjoy your day.